Orléans UK, French pronunciation, Lee, is a prefecture and commune in north-central France, about 111 km 69 miles southwest of Paris. It is the capital of the Loire department and of the Centre Val de Loire region. Orléans is located on the Loire River where the river curves south towards the Massif Central. In 2015, the city had 114,644 inhabitants, and the population of the urban area was 433,337. Orléans, Ontario and New Orleans, Louisiana French, La Nouvelle Orléans are named after the city. Geography <laughs> 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 Orléans is located in the northern bend of the Loire, which crosses from east to west. Orléans belongs to the Vallée de la Loire sector between Sully-sur-Loire and Chalonis-sur-Loire, which was in 2000 inscribed by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. The capital of Orléanais, 120 km southwest of Paris, is bordered to the north by the Beauce region, more specifically the Orléans Forest French, Fort and Orléans-la-Source neighborhood, and the Solon region to the south. Five bridges in the city cross the Loire River, Pont de l'Europe, Pont du Maréchal Joffre, also called Pont Neuf, Pont George V, also called Pont Royal, carrying the commune tramway, Pont René Thinat and Pont de Vierzon rail bridge. To the north of the Loire, Rive Droite is to be found a small hill, 102 meters, 335 feet at the Pont Georges V, 110 meters, 360 feet at the Place du Martroy, which gently rises to 125 meters, 410 feet at La Croix Fleury, at the limits of Fleury les Abre. Conversely, the south on the Rive Gauche has a gentle depression to about 95 meters, 312 feet above sea level at Saint-Marceau between the Loire and the Loire, designated a Zone inundable, flood risk zone. At the end of the 1960s, the Orléans La Source neighborhood was created, 12 kilometers (7 miles) to the south of the original commune and separated from it by the Val d'Orléans and the Loire River, whose source is in the Parc Floral de la Source. This quarter's altitude varies from about 100 to 110 meters (330 to 360 feet). The Loire and navigation In Orléans, the Loire is separated by a submerged dike known as the Douis into the Grande Loire to the north, no longer navigable, and the Petite Loire to the south. This dike is just one part of a vast system of construction that previously allowed the Loire to remain navigable to this point. The Loire was formerly an important navigation and trading route. With the increase in size of ocean-going ships, large ships can now navigate the estuary only up to about Nantes. Boats on the river were traditionally flat-bottomed boats, with large but foldable masts so the sails could gather wind from above the river banks, but the masts could be lowered in order to allow the boats to pass under bridges. These vessels are known as gabar, futro, and so on, and may be viewed by tourists near Pont Royal. The river's irregular flow strongly limits traffic on it, in particular at its ascent, though this can be overcome by boats being given a tow. An inexplosible type paddle steamer owned by the Mary was put in place in August 2007, facing Place de la Loire and containing a bar. Every two years, the Festival de Loire recalls the role played by the river in the commune's history. On the river's north bank, near the town centre, is the Canal d'Orléans, which connects to the Canal du Loing and the Canal de Briar at Bouges near Montargis. The canal is no longer used along its whole length. Its route within Orléans runs parallel to the river, separated from it by a wall or muret, with a promenade along the top. Its last pound was transformed into an outdoor swimming pool in the 1960s, then filled in. It was reopened in 2007 for the Fêtes de Loire. There are plans to revive use of the canal for recreation and install a pleasure boat port there. Topic: <inaudible> Climate. Orléans experiences an oceanic climate, Köppen climate classification Cfb, similar to much of central France. Topic: <inaudible> History. Prehistory and Roman Empire 
See also Sanabum, Aureliana Civitas. Sanabum was a Gallic stronghold, one of the principal towns of the tribe of the Carnutes where the Druids held their annual assembly. The Carnutes were massacred and the city was destroyed by Julius Caesar in 52 BC, then a new city was built on its ruins by settlers from the Gens Aurelia who named the city, Civitas Aurelianorum, city of the Aurelii, after themselves. The name later evolved into Orléans. In 442, Flavius Aetius, the Roman commander in Gaul, requested Gore, head of the Iranian tribe of Alans in the region, to come to Orleans and control the rebellious natives and the Visigoths. Accompanying the Vandals, the Alans crossed the Loire in 408. One of their groups, under Gore, joined the Roman forces of Flavius Aetius to fight Attila when he invaded Gaul in 451, taking part in the Battle of Chalon under their king Sangibin. Gore established his capital in Orléans. His successors later took possession of the estates in the region between Orléans and Paris. Installed in Orléans and along the Loire, they were unruly, killing the town senators when they felt they had been paid too slowly or too little and resented by the local inhabitants. Many inhabitants around the present city have names bearing witness to the Allen presence, Elaines. Also many places in the region bear names of Allen origin. Early Middle Ages In the Merovingian era, the city was capital of the Kingdom of Orléans following Clovis I's division of the kingdom, then under the Capetians it became the capital of a county then duchy held in appanage by the House of Valois-Orléans. The Valois-Orléans family later acceded to the throne of France via Louis XII then Francis I in 1108. One of the few consecrations of a French monarch to occur outside of Reims occurred at Orléans, when Louis VI of France was consecrated in Orléans Cathedral by Dimbert, Archbishop of Sens. High Middle Ages The city was always a strategic point on the Loire, for it was sited at the river's most northerly point, and thus its closest point to Paris. There were few bridges over the dangerous river Loire, but Orléans had one of them, and so became, with Rouen and Paris, one of medieval France's three richest cities. On the south bank the Châtelet des Tourelles protected access to the bridge. This was the site of the battle on 8 May 1429 which allowed Joan of Arc to enter and lift the siege of the Plantagenets during the Hundred Years' War, with the help of the royal generals Dunois and Florent Lyers. The city's inhabitants have continued to remain faithful and grateful to her to this day, calling her La Pucelle d'Orléans, the Maid of Orléans, offering her a middle-class house in the city, and contributing to her ransom when she was taken prisoner. Topic: 1453 to 1699. Once the Hundred Years' War was over, the city recovered its former prosperity. The bridge brought in tolls and taxes, as did the merchants passing through the city. King Louis XI also greatly contributed to its prosperity, revitalizing agriculture in the surrounding area, particularly the exceptionally fertile land around Beauce, and relaunching saffron farming at Pithiviers. Later, during the Renaissance, the city benefited from its becoming fashionable for rich chatelaines to travel along the Loire Valley a fashion begun by the king himself, whose royal domains included the nearby chateaux at Chambord, Ambois, Blois, and Chenonceau. The University of Orléans also contributed to the city's prestige. Specializing in law, it was highly regarded throughout Europe. John Calvin was received and accommodated there and wrote part of his reforming theses during his stay, and in return Henry VIII of England who had drawn on Calvin's work in his separation from Rome offered to fund a scholarship at the university. Many other Protestants were sheltered by the city. Jean-Baptiste Poquelin, better known by his pseudonym Molière, also studied law at the university, but was expelled for attending a carnival contrary to university rules. From 13 December 1560 to 31 January 1561, the French States General after the death of Francis II of France, the eldest son of Catherine de Medicis and Henry II. He died in the Hôtel Grosslot in Orléans, with his Queen Mary at his side. The cathedral was rebuilt several times. The present structure had its first stone laid by Henry IV, and work on it took a century. It thus is a mix of late Renaissance and early Louis XIV styles, and one of the last cathedrals to be built in France. Topic: 
Topic: 1700 to 1900. When France colonized America, the territory it conquered was immense, including the whole Mississippi River, whose first European name was the River Colbert, from its mouth to its source at the borders of Canada. Its capital was named La Nouvelle Orléans in honor of Louis XV's regent, the Duke of Orléans, and was settled with French inhabitants against the threat from British troops to the northeast. The Dukes of Orléans hardly ever visited their city since, as brothers or cousins of the king, they took such a major role in court life that they could hardly ever leave. The Duchy of Orléans was the largest of the French duchies, starting at Arpajon, continuing to Chartres, Vendôme, Blois, Vierzon, and Montargis. The duke's son bore the title Duke of Chartres. Inheritances from great families and marriage alliances allowed them to accumulate huge wealth, and one of them, Philippe Egalité, is sometimes said to have been the richest man in the world at the time. His son, Louis Philippe I, inherited the Penthiev and Condé family fortunes. 1852 saw the creation of the Compagnies Ferroviaires Paris Orléans and its famous Guerre d'Orsay in Paris. In the Franco-Prussian War of 1870, the city again became strategically important thanks to its geographical position, and was occupied by the Prussians on 13 October that year. The Armée de la Loire was formed under the orders of General Dorel de Paladines and based itself not far from Orléans at Beauce. <laughs> Topic. to present. During the Second World War, the German army made the Orléans Fleury Les Aubrey railway station one of their central logistical rail hubs. The Pont Georges V was renamed Pont des Tourelles. A transit camp for deportees was built at Bonne la Rolande. During the liberation, the American Air Force heavily bombed the city and the train station, causing much damage. The city was one of the first to be rebuilt after the war. The reconstruction plan and city improvement initiated by Jean Carizal and Jean Royer was adopted as early as 1943, and work began as early as the start of 1945. This reconstruction in part identically reproduced what had been lost, such as Royale and its arcades, but also used innovative prefabrication techniques, such as Illet 4 under the direction of the architect Paul Abraham. The big city of former times is today an average sized city of 250,000 inhabitants. It is still using its strategically central position less than an hour from the French capital to attract businesses interested in reducing transport costs. Heraldry According to Victor Adolphe Malta Brun in La France Illustrée, 1882, Orléans' arms are gules, three cailloux in cours de lys argent, and on a chief azure, three fleur de lys or. Charles Grandmaison, in the Dictionnaire Heraldique of 1861, states that it is or, with three hearts in gules, without the chief of France. Sometimes, in faulty designs, we find it described, gules, three fleur de lys argent, and on a chief azure three fleur de lys or. It is to be noted that the design shown left shows three, curs de lys, heart of a lily, seen from above. This, curs de lys, is therefore not a true lily, which would have six tepals, but a hypothetical aerial view of a symbolic lily. It has probably also been stylized more and more in heraldry, as in the heart in a pack of cards. Certain authors solve the problem by calling this symbol a tearsfoil, defined as a stemless clover leaf, with one leaf at the top and two below, thus making this coat of arms, gules, with three reversed tearsfoils in argent, etc. Motto <inaudible> 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 Hoc vernant lilia cord, granted by Louis XII, then Duke of Orléans, meaning, it is by this heart that lilies flourish, or, this heart makes lilies flourish, referring to the fleur de lys, symbol of the French royal family. Transport Public transport Dow manages buses and tram lines in Orléans. The first tram line was inaugurated 20 November 2000. The second was inaugurated 30 June 2012. 
Two SNCF stations, Fleury Les Aubrey and Orléans Center. Roads and highway Orléans is an autoroute intersection, the A10 linking Paris to Bordeaux links to the commune outskirts, and A71 whose bridge over the Loire is outside the commune limits begins here, heading for the Mediterranean via Clermont-Ferrand where it becomes the A75. A10 highway from Paris to Bordeaux A71 highway from Orléans to Borges a19 highway from Sens to Artenay National Road 20 from Paris to Spain Topic Railway Orléans is served by two main railway stations the Central Gare d'Orléans and the Gare des Abres Orléans in the northern suburbs Most long distance trains call only at the Les Abres Orléans station which offers connections to Paris Lille Tours, Brive la Gaillard, Nevers, and several regional destinations. People Orléans is the birthplace of Sophie Adrianson, French writer, Patrick Barul, football player, Jolie Bellica, basketball player. Raoul Blanchard (1877–1965), geographer. Maxence Boitis Ridza, singer. Jean Baptiste Marc Bergerie (1797–1849), anatomist. Felix Cazet (1790–1857), classical pianist and composer. Philippe Chanlot, football player. Marion Cotillard, actress, not born in Orléans, but she grew up in this town. Giles Delouche 1948, linguist Etienne Dole 1509 scholar and printer Jean-Louis Ferreri 1948, historian Albert Gombo 1844 neurologist Jacques Guillemot 1550 physician Gaston Delures (1876–1932), sculptor. Isaac Hoges (1607–1646), Jesuit missionary. Stanislas Julian (1797–1873), Orientalist. Gustav Lanson (1857–1934), historian. Pierre Levesville (1570–1632), Renaissance architect. Anatole Lequin (1834–1903), writer and musicologist. Ivan Moyo, football player. Charles Pegai (1873–1914), poet and essayist. Antoine Petit (1722–1794), physician. Lamine Sambi, basketball player. Yassine Sine, basketball player. Florian Thovan, football player. Jean Zay (1904–1944), jurist and politician. Topic: Culture. Topic: Historical and secular landmarks. The Gallo-Roman town wall on the north side of the cathedral, fourth century AD, and along the Rue de la Tour Neuve. The Hotel Grosslot, built between 1550 and 1555 for Jacques Grosslot, Bailey d'Orléans, by Jacques Ier Androuet du Cerceau. King Francois II of France died there in 1560. Kings Charles IX, Henri III of France, and Henri IV of France stayed there. The hotel was restored in 1850. The building became the town hall of Orléans in 1790. Weddings are still celebrated inside. The Hotel de la Vieille Intendance early 15th century otherwise named Hotel Brachet, formerly the King's House, real Gothic Renaissance-style chateau made of bricks. Nowadays housing the administrative court of Orléans. One can admire its frontage from the entrance in the Rue de la Bretonnerie. Yet, the building, which sheltered the highest figures of the kingdom passing by the city, and maybe some kings themselves Henri IV, Louis XIII, Louis XIV of France can easily be observed from its gardens, open to the public entrance Rue d'Alsace-Lorraine. 
The Hotel de la Motte Sanguine 18th century and its gardens, manor built at the behest of Louis Philippe, Duke of Orléans, 1747-1793, cousin of the King Louis XVI. He was surnamed Philippe Egalité, Equality, referring to his support to the 1789 revolutionaries. Nicknamed the richest man on earth. He voted in favor of the death penalty against his own cousin the King Louis XVI. This is a classic style princely residence and even royal, since Philippe Égalité's heir accessed the throne of France under the name of Louis Philippe Ier. It's part of a public park open to the public via the Solferino Street. The School of Artillery, next to the Hotel de la Motte Sanguine which it is often confused with, formerly housing a military school, it was built in the 19th century near the Loire River. Remains of the University of Orléans a 15th-century building housing the Thesis Room, founded in 1306 by Pope Clement V, in which, among many other great historical figures, the Protestant John Calvin studied and taught. The university was so famous that it attracted students from all over Europe, particularly Germany. The city of Orléans is one of the cradles of Protestantism. The House of Louis XI end of the 15th century, on St. Inon Square. Built at the behest of the king, who particularly revered Saint Inon. The house of Joan of Arc, where she stayed during the Siege of Orléans this is actually an approximate reconstitution, the original building being bombed in 1940 during the Battle of France. Place du Martroy, heart of the city, with the equestrian statue of Joan of Arc at its center, made by Denis Foyadier. This statue was damaged during the Second World War, then repaired by Paul Belmondo, father of the famous 1950s to 1980s French actor. Duke of Orléans Chancellery XV, located next to the Place du Metroy, also bombed during the Second World War, only the frontage resisted. The Bannier Gate House, discovered in 1986 under the statue of Joan of Arc Place du Martroy. It was built in the 14th century. It can be seen through a window in the subterranean car park under the square, or visited under certain conditions. The Rue de Bourgogne and surrounding streets, Orléans Main Street since the antiquity, it's the former Roman Decamanus, crossing the city from east to west. Joan of Arc entered the city in 1429 by the Bourgogne gatehouse situated at its easter end. Until today it is still giving access to the prefecture, where the prefet Officer who represents the French state in the region lives, many pubs, night clubs, restaurants and shops such as the Galleries Lafayette. It is more than a mile long. One can admire many medieval houses on its sides. The Tour Blanche, White Tower, it is one of the only medieval defensive towers remaining in the city still in use at the time of the Siege of Orléans. It nowadays houses city's archaeological department. The docks, Port of Orléans once the most important inland port of France 18th century. While boats could not sail on the River Seine because of the windings, they could sail to Orléans on the Loire River with the wind in their back. Then the merchandises were brought to Paris by roadways. Wine, and sugar from the colonies, were shipped to Orléans where they were stored and refined. Vinegar is still a city speciality due to the lapsing of wine stocks during the shipment. One can admire the old pavement of the docks 18th and 19th centuries on the north bank of the river in the city and on the island in the middle, that was used to channel the water. The Hôpital Madeleine former hospital, built by King Louis XIV 18th century and his successors notably an important part of the 18th century. St. Charles Chapel, located within the gowns of the Madeleine Hospital, it was built in 1713 by Jacques V. Gabriel, one of Louis XIV's architects. The Hotel Cabou, otherwise named House of Diane de Poitiers, built at the behest of Philippe Cabou, barrister, in 1547, famous architect Jacques Ier Andrew du Cerceau providing the plans. The Hotel Hattie, 16th century. Today's Charles Pegai Center. The Hotel Teuton, 16th century. The Hotel Pomeray d'Orléans, 16th century. The Hotel du Cerceau, 16th century. The Maison de la Coquille, 16th century. The Hôtel des Crenaux, former city hall, flanked by its bell tower, 15th century. It nowadays houses the city's school of music. This is a magnificent piece of late Gothic secular architecture, 15th century, that reminds the famous and much more recent Parisian city hall. The House of Jean d'Alibert, 16th century. 
the study of Jacques Boucher 16th century, which can be admired from the public square. Jacques Boucher. The mansions, Rue de Scure 17th and 18th centuries. The Préfecture, former Benedictine monastery, built in 1670 and housing the Préfecture du Loire since 1800. The Pont de l'Europe, designed by Santiago Calatrava, is an inclined bowstring arc bridge particularly original. The Pont Royal, George V Royal Bridge, the oldest bridge of the city. Built between 1751 and 1760, at the request of Daniel Charles Trudane, administrator and civil engineer. It was renamed in honor of King George V after the World War II out of respect of Britain's role in the war. The Pont des Tourelles, built in 1140 and demolished in 1760, was the first stone-made bridge of Orléans. When the River Loire is low, one can see remains of it in the water. The Palais Episcopal d'Orléans, former Bishop's Palace. It was built between 1635 and 1641. Napoleon stayed there. It is nowadays housing the International Centre for Research, part of University of Orléans. The Courthouse 18th to 20th centuries. The Salle de l'Institut, located on the Place Saint-Croix, is a small concert hall which can be converted in a ballroom. Its acoustics is remarkable. Mansions, Rue de la Bretonnerie. This street concentrates many particular mansions, of all styles and ages 15th to 20th centuries. High society members, politicians, barristers, doctors continue to live there. Mansions, Rue de lorraine 19th century bourgeoisie style houses. Statue La Bainus by Paul Belmondo, aside the Rue Royale. 1955. Statue of Calvin, by Daniel Leclerc, facing the Calvinist Temple. 2009. The FRAC Center building named Less Turbulences, an advanced piece of architecture covered with LEDs. Many historical houses and mansions hundreds can still be admired in the city centre which is one of the largest in France due to the great importance of the city until the 20th century. The historical centre dating back to the 15th century extends far beyond the limits of the pedestrian sector that has been extensively restored in the past few years. In fact it corresponds to the portion of the modern city which is enclosed by the boulevards. Many historical monuments remain in the non-pedestrian sectors of the city for example, at Rue Notre-Dame de Recouvrance, at Rue des Carmes, at Rue de la Bretonnerie, at Square saint Topic: Modern Museums Museums in Orléans Musée des Beaux-Arts d'Orléans Charles Pegai Center Joan of Arc's House Fine Arts Museum City Historical and Archaeological Museum Natural Science Museum Parks Parks in Orléans Parc Floral de la Source Mott Sanguine Garden Charpentry Garden Botanic Garden Anjorant Park Charbonnier Park Moines Rue Park Pasteur Park Topic Media TV Network Orléans TV Newspaper La République du Centre The Republic of the Center Topic Music Annual weeklong classical music festival Simon Musicales Internationales d'Orléans, founded in 1968. Burning Heads Sport Orléans has a basketball team, Orléans Loré Basket which is in the French First Division. The club won the «Coupe de France» of basketball, its first major trophy, in the season 2009-2010. Orléans also has a football club, the U.S. Orléans, which plays in League Two. There is also a semi-professional rugby team, RC Orléans. The city also has very well-known clubs in karate, fencing and judo. In 2012, Orléans hosted a stage finish of Paris Nice.
Topic: International relations. Orléans is twinned with. It has a partnership with. Krakow in Poland. Topic: Education. University of Orléans, the university campus is in the La Source area in southern part of the commune. Polytech Orléans, Engineer School IUT, University Institutes of Technology IAE, Institut d'Administration des Entreprises IUP, Institut Universitaire Professionalisé ESAD Orléans, School of Art and Design ESCEM, School of Business and Management SUPINFO, Higher Education in Computer Science EXIACESI, School of Industrial Engineering See also Council of Orléans House of Orléans Orléanist Roman Catholic Diocese of Orléans Bishopric of Orléans